The Forgiveness Minute. Forgive and forget. We hear it all the time, but can you actually forget? I think if it's a smaller thing that you're forgiving, probably. If it's a bigger life event, you're probably not going to forget it. It's going to stay with you. It has shaped you now. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think it's going to stand in your way per se, um, from forgiving. You can still forgive. I think that when we say forgive and forget, it's more on perhaps the minor offenses and it's not holding that person forever accountable. You know, if we're in a similar situation and we look at that person and be like, that's how you're going to react because that's what you did last time. You did that one time and that's all you're ever going to do. Um, I think that that non- forgetting, you know, that remembering is probably bad. But in general, we're going to remember. Um, and, and it might be good if we're trying to avoid certain red flags in a person. It might be good to remember. Um, but in general, uh, that is my thought on forgiving and forgetting.